So my hair is thinning out in the middle. Basically, my middle part is thinning out because I'm usually doing that. So we had to start somewhere else. So in this video, I am making or in this particular flat twist style, I am making my lines like side by side um, so that my flat twist can be in the middle. So as you can tell by the way I am putting my comb, I'm trying to make sure that my line is straight. You can have a straight, you can have a clean line, but it may not be straight. Those are two different things. So here, I am following the shape of my head. Please follow the shape of your head, the way it's going. If you don't know, just try to feel it with your hands and you'll know when it's time for you to put your comb like downwards or if you don't have to put it downwards so here i am putting it flat because like it's close to being flat like my head here it's basically flat or anyone else's head is flat here if not put it the way your your shape is going and at the back at the back i am putting it downwards that's how the head goes okay that's how it's going like so i am putting it downwards uh to get it straight the other thing that you may see in this video or clip is i am stopping where like i'm putting my fingers where i stopped taking out the line so that i know where i am continuing like i don't have to start from the front and go back again we don't waste time so you put your hand or your finger where you stopped to make sure that your your you are being efficient so you don't have to start from the front go back and then when you stop because you have 4ck then i am running my hands through the line not to check if it's straight i'm checking if i have to clean it and um, in this particular style, which is the flat twist, I am not as hard on myself in terms of like the bag being clean because I, w I knew from the get go that I wanted some big or like few sections of flat twist. So I ended up with nine flat twists, I think. Um, so I knew that the back of my head is going to bulk up. If you are doing a flat twist, you don't have to be strict like in terms of straightness, cleanliness at the back because your hair is going to bulk up and probably, basically, people are not going to see your lines if they're straight or not. The other thing that you, like if you're doing some cornrows, you are, you are going to be required if that's the word like you don't have a choice but to make your lines straight at the back they have to be clean from the front to the back so i'm giving you an advice start by learning how to flat twist learn how to flat twist if you are a person who come rose um if you don't know how to make your lines proper just to get used to trying to make them clean mind you guys like in this part of the video I did uh, I did not have any mirror there was no mirror here okay I just tend for you I just tend back for you guys to see like the line it comes out okay it won't be clean 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 but it's okay if I did not mention that you must take small portions of hair at the back then I'm saying it again if I didn't you must take out small portions at the back so that they fit. So as you can see on that previous clip, my at the back of my head, it was a small section. You learn how to do it properly. Like at first, you don't expect yourself to like know it or get it correctly, 100% correctly. It takes time, guys. Uh, do not be fooled. This took It took me like two years to learn how to come around actually not combo even to flat twist it took me a year i started to learn how to flat twist like in 2019 and i got it correctly like from the end of 2019 
and I was close to being perfect like in 2020 uh, so just be patient with yourself and practice do not be shy to make mistakes you can do your flat twist like every week and you know that they're not looking great um, or your lines are not great you can wear like like a bucket head or a cap just to cover it up if you don't feel confident with wearing your own styles until you perfect it all i'm saying is just practice here you can literally see that i am running i am opening a line with my hands this helps a lot guys please don't take it for granted and be like girl why are you doing that this helps a lot because now i go in with my with my comb i am trying to make sure that it is straight at this point we're making it straight um you're taking out the big sections that are in the wrong side on the wrong side of things um as you can see again my like from the side my comb is not straight because it can't be straight at the sides i don't expect it to be straight straight um so i hope it makes sense I hope it's making a lot of sense and you can see I'm going down again. I'm going down. Guys, if you feel like I, I was hard on my hair, guess what I was like? I was. It was. It did not want to get moisturized, guys. My hair is damaged, literally, if I were to put it properly. My hair is damaged. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauda and if you are new, please subscribe, like, comment and also share my video. So I'm going to leave you here, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, please do enjoy this video. Watch it as many times as you can so that you can learn properly how to uh, part your hair. If this video, like if I missed something and you want to know about it, comment down below and maybe i will put it like on my flat twist video um so that i answer those questions in terms of parting your hair i am still going to make another video of how to part your hair for your com not cornrows for your long twist extended twist or your braids your passion twist those type of styles the singles styles i'm going to make another video in terms of that but i'm only going to make it when i am going to do when i'm doing my locks or passion twist any of those i'll see maybe we'll do a poll like i'm just giving you a heads up i'm just saying guys <laughs> so bye guys enjoy this video